Hello everyone, this is Derek with Reef Automation. This is another Reef Automation Tutorials for Neptune Systems. In this video, we're going to go over tasks. So when you first get an Apex, uh, tasks become very handy because they're able to do a number of things for you without having to know programming. Uh, when tasks first came available, there was only a couple, and now over the last couple of years, they have added a significant amount, whereas most of the programming doesn't even have to be done uh, manually. It can be done through the tasks. So we're going to go over some of the tasks and how you use them in this brief tutorial. So let's get started. So when you go to your Apex Fusion, you're going to click on the small little clipboard, and that's your tasks right here. And that'll provide you with a list of tasks. Now, a couple things you can do. If you hit the little arrow down, you can actually search for a specific one. So, for instance, if I wanted to set up a heater, I could type in heater. Then it would say add and control a heater. So if we click on that, it's going to run you through a specific series of questions and help to get your heater set up. So they're going to tell you to plug in the heater, ensure your temperature probe is plugged in. And then it's going to ask you which output you want your heater to be connected to. Now, in my system, I have a lot of things. But as you can see, I have all my outputs assigned to my different power bars. Now, you can get this information through the modules, which I will show you. But if you know the address and you know the output, then you know exactly which one to do. So we're going to say cancel. We're going to go back. And we'll just show you where the modules are. So if you go to this guy right here, modules, it'll tell you which all your modules are and you can label them. But for instance, it'll tell you um, that we have an EB8, garage EB8 at address 2. So we'll go back to our tasks and we're going to use that one for this example. So again, we'll search for heater. And let's say we wanted output address 2, number 7, to be our heater. You can then relabel it if you wanted to. And then it's going to ask you which temperature probe do you want to control the heater from. So in this case, we're going to control it from the reef temperature. And then you're going to put your minimum and maximum that you want the heater to be. You're going to hit next. And then it's going to configure the heater. So that's how you would do a heater. Now let's say you had a core pump. You can say core, and this will allow you to control a core pump. So it'll tell you which core you have. Say I have a 20 or a 15. It'll actually tell you how to install it, and then it will configure the calibration and setup of the core pump. So there's a number of them here, so we're going to go through a couple of them. Always on. Let's say you wanted something to just be always on, for example. If you had a dose, this will configure your dose calibration, your manual water change, automatic water change if you have a flow sensor. So if you want to connect an IOTA device such as a Kessel device and also the AI Primes have IOTA. Let's see, you got lights, pH probe, power usage alarms, probe alarms, return pumps. Here's all the Trident. If you want to set up a wave output, uh, or a variable output and a wave pump that's right here. So tasks are really handy. This will basically do everything for you. If you want to set up your clock, and you don't even have to go into any of the programming, and it will just automatically do it for you. So I just wanted to show off what tasks are and how to use them. I find them to be very helpful, specifically if I want to calibrate my Trident. So if I go over here to Trident Calibration, it'll perform the entire calibration and it'll tell you how to go, go about doing it. And it has all the calibrations. So if you typed in Calibration, you can see all the different calibrations you can do. So very nifty and handy uh, for people that aren't familiar with programming and also for people that just want to get things done in a quick manner without having to search, such as the Trident calibration. So anyway, hopefully you liked this video. And if you did, go ahead and hit the thumbs up below. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, go ahead and subscribe. We do live streams every weekend where we give out free stuff. So if you haven't attended a live stream, go ahead and do so. Hopefully you liked this video and have a great day.